Hello twins, welcome to Love is Ain't This Miss Kelly coming to you with your what is the shadow aspect or shadow side of the person that you're thinking about? Okay, so we're gonna tap into your person's shadow self and see what's going on. The shadow side. Um I can tell you just right off the bat with the um with me shuffling, the five of pentacles came out in both decks. So, your person is really going through some sort of financial trouble. They're trying to move forward. All right. Somebody could have passed through bills, trying to balance their checkbook at this time. All right. Um, in order to move forward, for some of you, this person is trying to figure out a way how to pay their car note. All right. Um, hmm. This person is working really hard to try to have a new beginning here. Okay. So, um this person could have just gone through a major financial rough patch and i feel like this person is um okay queen of pentacles i feel like this person is getting ready to have possibly some sort of elevation in their work situation wow queen of pentacles and the devil so i feel like um somebody here this could be like a monarch of the family okay uh this person could be coming out very toxic at this time all right um six of swords could be someone you definitely need to move away from <clears throat> excuse me this person could be a blockage and possibly of new opportunities coming towards you so that's something that you need to be mindful of yeah four of cups this person could do things like when they get bored and this person is bound by toxicity addictions um you know this could be a very obsessive type of energy as well the moment you move away there's some golden opportunity coming in for you okay i just feel like whatever this is is not meant for you to share in with it with this person yeah, okay, and it's possibly, oh, okay, somebody may reach out to you wanting to have some sort of uh, connection here, may want to work with you in business, so there could be a big business opportunity, okay, that could be coming in for this person as well. Some sort of contract. Okay, this person could feel like if they make you some sort of offer, if they work with you, okay, that something will turn around, go in their favor. Knight of Wands, okay, but this is someone who could be a bit fleeting, okay? They could be a bit fleeting, um, but as well, they're willing to take action. I do feel like here, okay, somebody is definitely coming out of some sort of a uh, toxic mindset. I'm seeing that as well. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so someone does not... This person does not want to be single. There's some sort of codependency here. This person could possibly live with someone. Okay, so they could be staying with someone for a place to stay. But I do feel like this person could be trying to move on from a situation in order for them to come towards you. Yeah. Okay, Ace of Wands, New Beginning. Okay, somebody could be having sex with somebody for a place to stay. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Three of Pentacles, yeah. All right. I do feel like, though, <clears throat> some of you, if you are a tattoo artist, okay, I feel like you're going to get some sort of creative spark. You may do something innovative. You may have people coming towards you wanting to work with you more, okay, uh, wanting to partner with you. Some of you could be thinking about as well. Or oh, this is this person, sorry. Um, but this could be you too. You know how we, energy is fluid. You take it how it resonates and it's not a coincidence for me to say you. So it could be you. Um, but I feel like somebody could be very codependent on whatever it is that they do. But I feel like there's some sort of, uh, financial, ten of, the ten of pentacles is some sort of financial freedom that's getting ready to come possibly towards this person if they're just patient enough. Yeah, the world. Somebody's work may be getting recognized. So I just feel like whoever this is, a part of their shadow self is just them believing in themselves and getting rid of a lack mentality. 
that's the energy I'm getting off of this. They need to just get rid of the lack mentality. Okay, we have selfish but traditional. Okay, so this can be someone who's very self-serving, inconsiderate, greedy. They only think about themselves. All right, but this is someone they have a fixed mindset. So, again, with this Queen of Pentacles, this is an older energy. This could be a man or a woman. You take it how it resonates for you. But I do feel like that this person, um, <clears throat> again, it's a mindset that they need to uh, work on or heal. The Devil, Eight of Swords. The Devil, Eight of Swords. Narcissist. They feel, in, they feel entitled. Um, they like to exploit people, okay? They even, to the point that they're in denial, they believe their own lies, okay? <laughs> like, they're walking contradiction. This person may not try to come off like they don't need anyone, but this person could be quite lonely, Okay? very materialistic all right um i feel like this person they don't really look at themselves in the way that they are supposed to like they don't feel as though that they're a surface level person this could be someone who looks at themselves as being very deep they could be uh ashamed or regretful by some sort of actions but they may be the type that don't that don't show it okay um, could be very cold, defensive, all right? Um, they like to project onto people. So whatever toxic, however, if they're feeling like in a bad mood or they feel like something is not being, like the attention is not being focused on them, they will create some sort of chaos and drama. And I feel like somebody here has had some sort of uh, epiphany about this situation in this person. Okay, it's been illuminated with the sun here. This person could be quite conniving. They disregard people's feelings and boundaries, okay? They conspire, they scheme. This is the type of person that would even plot on someone, okay? Um, they're not they're not the type of person to let people in on what they have going on, but they like to stay in the know of what everybody else has going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, look, attached, bipolar, checking in, um, So this person wants you to constantly possibly check on them. They can be very inconsistent, have serious mood swings, could be a, <clears throat> a bit of an opportunist, can be clingy. There could be codependency possibly on family members or they feel like people with that ten of pentacles is codependent upon them for their money. Okay. This is someone who was complacent because they have possibly become afraid in life, like to really live life on their terms. So, by them being traditional and having a fixed mindset, it's like this person didn't really allow themselves to grow in this lifetime and accomplish what it is they really wanted to accomplish. Okay. Um, hmm. That's cray cray. Uh, four of, okay. They're abusive. Okay. This could also be someone, they like to see other people down and that four of cups energy depressed. You know, um, this could also be someone who feels like they are, they have to feel needed. You know what I mean? Like that they want to feel needed syndrome. This is someone who could be very unforgiving, very sarcastic, even a brat, okay? Like to boss people around, mock people. Like I said, and the thing of it is, it'd be the irony. Because this person, I feel like, is not in a position or to have the room to come at anyone in that way. Right? Very insincere. So you realize that this person, they're very hypocritical in the way that they think and how they do things. Okay? Dismissive. All right? They like to avoid situations or if you want to have a conversation about something that this person did, they will try to dismiss your feelings or emotions. Okay? Like it doesn't matter. All right? <clears throat> They could see you as being an analytical person. Look, bossy. Yeah, look. Okay, feeling like they have people in handcuffs. Like, this is the type of person they feel like with their money, they can hold people hostage. And spirits are absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. And they're very jealous. Very jealous. 
So you realize that a lot of this person's toxicity here is what I'm seeing. Um, you know, they use people as a scapegoat. They will sacrifice whoever they have to. They use people as a pawn in their schemes and games. Uh, ooh. Three of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Could be very thoughtless, inconsiderate. Okay, again, thinking only about themselves. They self-sabotage a lot of situations. Okay, they could be a bit of a manipulator. They like to pull strings. Okay, <laughs> this is the type of person they want to get their way. Hell or high water, they want to get their way. They have a lot of unhealthy habits. Okay, that's detrimental possibly even to their health. All right, we have drugs here. Have a lack of self-control. Um, and that's unhealthy because that can get you in a lot of trouble. You come across the right and the wrong one, okay? Very envious of others, all right? Very disconnected with themselves, resentful. They covet. I feel like, and that's what I hear. I hear covet. This person is very disconnected here, okay? Very egotistical, all right? Self-centered. They will inflate themselves to make themselves feel bigger than who they are or what they are. All right, and then we have here, um, this is someone they could suffer from anxiety, but they may not show it. They could suffer from anxiety for working with other people. Um, hmm. Well, then I tell you someone looks at everything from a lack mentality, six of uh, wands in the reverse. And very superficial, okay? Yeah, they, they have no depth. Whoever this queen of pentacles this person has absolutely no depth. All they have are their things. They have some regrets, but they will never show it. They will never show it because they're too stubborn. They can't make it up. They're too damn stubborn. But I feel like this is a cycle that's coming to a close. If this is someone you're dealing with in this time, I feel like this is something that's coming to an end here. But I feel like whatever this person is putting out, they're getting back, is coming back full circle. I just want to see what we can get more a little bit about this Queen of Pentacles. What can you tell us more about this Queen of Pentacles here, please, and thank you. Wow, they're having a tower moment right now, high priestess, okay? This could be something you've already seen or predicted. They're trying to keep it to themselves that they're having, oh, it's major change. This is spirit working with this person or working through this person, okay? Uh, this person has a stubbornness and arrogance about them, yeah. Again, there's nothing wrong with self-love, but at the same time, you have to still have consideration for others. I feel like this person as well could be possibly trying to block love connections in for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what I tell you, nine of wands, they're trying to block you from having, wow, ace of swords. They're trying to block you from having a loving relationship um a family that this is someone i don't know they may not have had yeah <clears throat> this person is trying to block some new beginning here ace of pentacles ace of cups we had the ace of swords and we did see the ace of wands in the other day so gemini you have a lot going on for you Okay, it's the moment that you block out this person and their toxicity. The devil in the reverse. But this person, the sad part about it, they don't see how... Two swords. This person could be grieving and need to heal. I'm saying that. And I feel like you try to ignore this person's antics or you tried to in the past, but it's been really hard.
They could be grieving a sibling. You could be seeing 566 could be an angel number. Look that angel number at 566. And this person, this is someone they don't use their intuition. Could be dealing with a Pisces or a, a Taurus here. Okay, this person though is reaping what they've sown. Because this is someone they won't allow themselves to be led. They feel as though they, they have it all. They know it all. Alright, um, somebody needs to listen to their intuition about possibly continuing to work with this person. Alright, there needs to be a boundary set. Um, there needs to be a boundary set. What is the eight of ones, four ones? Four cups. Yeah, it's like somebody, somebody likes to give you bad news. Um, like this could be someone who, there could be a lot of drama. Somebody here could be feeling rejected here. Okay, somebody here could need some. I am seeing that. All right. Um, there's a betrayal or something coming out about this person that they thought that they kept secret, or you could be keeping it a secret. It's something that you know that this person have done or has done or will do. Take it how I resonate. But it's going to have you walk away. And you're not going to be in your head about it. Like, you're going to be very confident in your decision. Where at one point in time, you could have juggled back and forth on whether this person was truly someone that, you know, you can consider a friend or a loved one. But I feel like with this, you're going to walk away and you're not going to have any regrets. But I feel like you are going to keep it to yourself that you're doing it. Because, you know, nothing but burdens come with this person. And I feel like it's, yeah, the world in the reverse. So, Gems, I feel like this is as well as you needing to close something here in order to be successful. Period. But I also feel that this person, they are stuck in some sort of cycle here. Why? With the world. Okay, because this is someone, is something mentally going on with them possibly, especially with that bipolar seven of swords and a reverse. Somebody could be in their head, okay, about something being revealed. All right, we have Queen of Wands cross. What is the seven of swords reverse? So it could be something going on with an Aquarius and a fire sign. Okay, in the near future, what is this? Okay, some sort of mind games or defeat. All right, somebody could be getting ready to possibly pay someone to shortchange someone here. So this is the type of person, and I say this is the type of person, baby, they'll pay somebody to set your ass up, so you better be careful. Somebody here as well could be upset that they have to pay some sort of uh, child support, they could feel like they were manipulated in the situation. All right, um, wow, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles could be a couple. Somebody's trying to hold on here. We have the Justice and the Five of Wands, could be wanting to come to you and make amends until some sort of truth about some sort of argument or fight. Yeah. Somebody's keeping an eye on something here. Okay, now this could be a wealthy couple. I don't know. For somebody here, it's a wealthy couple. This Queen of Pentacles could have also had someone on the side. Or have someone on the side here. Judgment. Eight of Pentacles, the hangman. Someone is stuck on a Queen of Cups, but I feel like someone here is having to defend themselves. I feel like they haven't, they're having to defend some sort of finances or money. Okay, we have the Emperor, the Death, the Strength, King of Wands. Someone wants to change being so controlling, I feel like.
Yeah, there could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. That's definitely having some sort of financial issues, okay? Um, this person could be trying to figure out a plan, possibly even on how to come towards you. Twenty twenty, as I say that, yeah, someone wants to hold on to you. They know they have to make you some sort of stable offer, but they could be moving kind of slow with their emotions. Yeah, this is a conflicting. <laughs> this is like some sort of conflicted energy. Page of Wands with the Knight of Swords. All right, someone wants to make something fair. They know they have to make some sort of choice or tell you some sort of truth or cut something out in order to have some sort of relationship with you and to mend something. If they want to mend this broken heart. I'm hearing Al Green. How do you mend a broken heart? Okay, they want to come in towards you. Quickly could be dealing with a Virgo. Yeah, somebody sees, baby, y'all could do some really big things together. But I feel like they really need to work on them shadow, on that shadow side of themselves. Um, now, it could be other, <laughs> this could be family. It could be love. Take it how it resonates for you. Okie dokie. Somebody has some really negative energy. Some of you, like I say, this is like a matriarch or uh, someone in your family. Mother, grandmother, auntie. Okay. Could be a friend. Will of Fortune, the moon. This person is afraid of change. They don't know how to move forward. Okay, some of you, there's an unexpected love offer coming in. And I would just say, you know, be careful who you share information with. All right, this, like I say, this may be someone that you have realized you have to limit the access of information that you give this person. Yeah. I'm going to say for some of you, this is a family. This is a family situation. I want to see how you should deal with this person. How the spirit suggests you deal with this situation or this person. Yeah, somebody definitely needs to make some sort of payment. This person needs to make some sort of payments on their bills. Okay. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Let's do how should Gemini deal with this person? What is your advice? The Gemini dealing with the person that's on their mind. Is dealing that needs to do shadow work. What do they need? To, what actions do they need to take with this person moving forward? Ten of Wands. It's going to be heavy. It's going to be heavy. The Hermit. Five of Cups. This person could be the type of person they like to ghost people to make them feel like they're carrying baggage. Yeah. This is a family situation. Ten of Cups. This person needs to possibly even heal some sort of family situation. Strong Virgo energy. All right, Page of Cups. Somebody could have a child on the way. That's not for everybody. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. All right, we have the Stream. Five of 
I feel like this energy is like you just focusing on your bag. Uh, gems, there is a queen of pentacles that's like in some sort of competition with you. Yeah, the chariot. This is someone that I feel like you have no problem in moving on from them. But I say this is someone, like, they, they cheat to win. Again, and they're very nine of pentacles reverse again. They're very codependent on your energy. Very codependent on your energy. Three of pentacles. Oh, okay. Now, some of you, this is a man that you're dealing with here. Um... This person don't want you to be single anymore. They do want to work with you, but they know that there's changes that need to be made. There has to be a death of the ego here, okay? Or just some sort of change um, in the way, even the, the way that they communicate, okay? Or their behavior. They know they have to step their, their, their game up. All right, yeah, Ace of Swords, what I'm telling you is the truth. If they want this reconciliation, if that's the case, if they want you to open up and be more fluid with them, then they're going to have to definitely make some changes um, and end some things in their life, end the toxicity, whatever toxicities, codependencies that it is that they have. And I feel like something has been exposed to you about this person. So, justice. Something needs to be made fair. Four Wands. There could be potential for a firm foundation here, but this person would really need to work on themselves. Somebody could also be thinking about possibly, they could be addicted to tattoos. So somebody here could be addicted to pain. Um, I'm hearing a song from Suicide Squad. I'm just addicted to pain. Just get a couple of these. And then we're going to get a message from the universe to close out. What other shadow messages should Gemini know about the person they're thinking about? Save money cheap ass. They don't like spending their money on anyone. Okay. Then we have addictions. It's causing strife and alienation in a relationship. And we had afraid to admit their sexuality due to to fear rejection from others. So somebody here could be even battling their sexuality. All right, we have demoted or undervalued. So this person could feel like that they're undervalued. All right, we have double life, living a lie, but which is the truth. Okay, so this person, somebody might be bisexual here. Somebody may not like their job fully. Okay, they try too hard, try to overcompensate. Fake friends secretly wants you to fail, see, and tries to be better than you. Didn't I tell you that? Like, mm, mm, mm. Acting as a groupie because they, huh, they feel that's all they deserve. Oh, wow. So this is someone that could possibly... Uh, like to have threesomes and things of that nature, okay? Overspill, overspends money to show off their wealth. Co-parenting issues due to extreme dislike for one another. Oh. So, they may not have a good relationship with their child's mother or child's father. So, you might want to be aware of that, all right? And then we have here marital, marital problems stemming from different personalities. Okay, so... Let's say if it's a marriage, honey, it, just, it could be mainly about money. Like, it, it could be a marriage of convenience. All right, extremely religious and judgmental and try to push their agendas on people. Any other shadow messages Gemini needs to know about this person? They have a record and they haven't been reformed. You cannot trust them, okay? So this person could have dabbled and dabble in illegal activities. They apologize for their bad behavior, but they haven't changed. What did I tell you? 
someone knows their secret and it's about to be exposed. Wow. Spreading misinformation through word of mouth or internet trolling. <sighs> Vengeful and will seek revenge to tear others down. You're dealing with a real diabolical individual. Man or woman, I don't know, or women. Take it, it could be multiple people. You know what I'm saying? Take it how it resonates with you. But you're dealing with someone who's really not giving out a, the best version of themselves and they're not ready to change right they're not they're not ready to change message from the universe for gemini what do they need to know what message do you have sir? for gemini When you hold on to the past, it stops you from living in the present. Release any old hurts or worries or regrets. Commit to being in the here and now. Forgive yourself for where you think you may have been wrong. You deserve inner peace. Let it go. Bottom of the deck, we have this new chapter in your life is going to require a new way of seeing things and a new way of seeing yourself. You can't continue to see and interpret things with the same understanding that you have and that you've had until now. No matter what you face or how you feel, see it all from a higher perspective. So, Gemini, I hope these messages help. Please hit that like, share, subscribe button. I appreciate all your love and support. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who are new. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all the loyal lovers. Welcome back. And I really appreciate you guys and gals. Peace.